Hey friends, happy Sunday. Hoping things are going great for you here as we're winding up our last day of the weekend. And maybe you're off tomorrow, and if you are, <laughs> big thumbs up to you. I'm not, I'm going back to work. So I'm wrapping up my Sunday by making this video. This is my first installment in a new series that I'm calling Serenity Sunday. I don't know how many parts it's gonna go. Today I'm gonna really just define serenity and define how we can measure it in our own lives, at least at first blush. So this is really not a detailed treatise, if you will. I'm, I, I'm, you know, not a huge scholar of it. I've, I've been uh, practicing various, uh, let's say, meditation and, and introspection for a few years. And of course, you know, the, the concept of serenity I've, I've been awake to for, for some time. However, I, I want to examine it in a little bit more detail. So serenity comes from the Latin word serenus. Serenus means uh, peaceful and calm, as you might imagine. And then, of course, the iti, serenity, uh, originally was itas, which means a uh, quality or state of being. So therefore, serenity means a quality or state of being peaceful and calm, which makes sense. How does it play out in my life? You know, I know when I'm in a place of serenity and I know when I'm not. However, uh, you know, there's, there's, I'm sure there's a more uh, objective way than simply a feeling. So I, I put up three different ideas here, three different ways of measuring it, because obviously we can't detect serenity. There's no serenity detector, something you order off of a, a website and it measures your number of serenes. I guess I'd be an SI unit. I don't know. Uh, no, no, sorry, a little joke for my nerd friends there. So since we don't have that, we have to come up with, uh, you know, I said objective earlier, but really it is subjective. So I, I correct myself there. So a, a subjective way of measuring it that you know, maybe we can measure for ourselves and have it as a relative scale, measure either week to week, day to day of our serenity. And so the first one that uh, comes to mind is how easily we are disturbed by things. So what do you mean by that, Steve? Okay, well, what I mean by that is, let's say, for example, you get an email and it's got some bad news in it. How do you react, right? If you're coming from a place of serenity, then, you know, you're going to be unflappable. You're going to be, you know, you're going to look at it and say, well, that's, that's the information and I need to take action based on it or I need to, you know, think about what to do. But you're not, it's not psychologically disturbing you. It's not freaking you out. The second way of measuring your serenity is how often you're complaining about others. And this could be, you know, Maybe you're just thinking to yourself, oh, that, that person's an idiot, or that person is this or that. Or maybe you're verbalizing it, you're telling another person, oh, you know, I mean, it's really a place of judgment, right? And so if you're truly serene, you're not going to be really in that place of judgment and in that place of complaining about other people. And then finally, the third way is how often you're thinking about yourself. And I don't mean... Oh, I'm self-aware, hey, I, my throat hurts, or I'm thirsty, or anything like that, but more of your selfish needs. You know, you're putting yourself first. You're, you're thinking of, well, how can, I, how can I benefit from this situation? How can I, uh, you know, get the upper hand, etc. So that's another way. You know, if you're in a place of peaceful calm, you're going to have a lot less thoughts about yourself. So those are three ways. And maybe between now and my second Serenity Sunday, uh, this will be uh, something you're more awake to and you can start to incorporate into your daily, uh, you know, your daily checklist or your daily wrap up, you know, of those three things, you know, how, how, did, how did the day occur to you, you know, how often were you disturbed, how often were you complaining about others and then how often were you having selfish thoughts about yourself. In any case, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and a wonderful week. 
If you're off tomorrow, boy, that's a perfect opportunity to get some more serenity. So comment below, like this, share this, tell your friends, you know, uh, you know, tell your relatives, what have you. Anyhow, thanks for watching.